And ever wondered why good blood circulation is so crucial to our health? It's because this intricate highway of vessels is responsible for delivering oxygen and nutrients to every corner of our body, helping us thrive. It also plays a crucial role in waste removal, preventing harmful substances from settling in. Moreover, it helps in maintaining our body temperature and plays a pivotal role in disease prevention and overall wellness. So it's clear, good circulation is key. But how can we improve our blood circulation? Stay tuned for five effective ways. First and foremost, regular exercise is a powerful tool to enhance blood circulation. Whether it's a brisk walk in the park, a heart pumping run, a refreshing swim, or a calming yoga session, these activities work wonders in strengthening your heart and improving circulation. And here's the best part. It doesn't have to be an intense, sweat-dripping workout. Even a gentle stroll or a slow stretch can stimulate a positive effect. So, make a move and get that blood pumping. The second tip to improve blood flow might be simpler than you think. Stay well hydrated. You see, water plays a key role in your body, maintaining blood volume and warding off dehydration. Dehydration can put a damper on blood circulation, and nobody wants that. So let's make it a habit to drink plenty of water throughout the day, whether it's a hot summer's day or a chilly winter afternoon. Remember, a well-hydrated body is a well-circulated body. Thirdly, a healthy diet can make a big difference in your blood circulation. The food we consume plays a vital role in maintaining the overall health of our body, including the circulation of our life-giving blood. A well-balanced diet, teeming with fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and healthy fats can significantly improve blood circulation. Fruits and vegetables brimming with antioxidants help ward off harmful free radicals that can damage blood vessels. Lean proteins, on the other hand, provide the necessary amino acids for tissue repair, including our circulatory system. Not to forget, certain foods have a more direct impact on blood flow. Citrus fruits, for instance, are packed with bioflavonoids that strengthen capillary walls, improving blood flow. Fatty fish, rich in omega-3 fatty acids, help reduce inflammation and blood clotting. And let's not leave out green tea, a fantastic source of antioxidants that aid in blood vessel dilation. So feed your body right to keep your blood flowing smoothly. The fourth way to improve blood flow is to limit alcohol and avoid tobacco. Now, we all know that a glass of wine or a pint of beer can be an enjoyable way to unwind. However, it's crucial to understand that excessive alcohol consumption can cause significant harm to your blood vessels. It can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke, all of which hinder optimal blood flow. Cutting back on alcohol is a positive step towards improving your circulation. Then there's tobacco. Whether it's smoking or chewing, tobacco is a major culprit in damaging blood vessels and reducing circulation. The chemicals in tobacco can cause the thickening of blood, making it harder for your heart to pump it around your body. Avoiding tobacco entirely is a surefire way to boost your circulation and overall health. Remember, moderation is key when it comes to alcohol, and tobacco is a no-go for good circulation. And finally, our fifth way to improve blood flow Treat yourself to regular massages. Now, who wouldn't love a good massage? But did you know beyond the relaxation and stress relief, massages also play a vital role in enhancing your blood circulation? That's right. The kneading and pressing action in a massage can stimulate blood flow in the applied areas, helping to deliver oxygen and nutrients to your muscles and tissues more efficiently. Moreover, Massages aid in flushing out toxins from your body. They do this by promoting lymphatic drainage, a process that helps your body get rid of waste products. Now this doesn't mean you need to book an appointment with a professional masseuse every week. A simple self-massage at home focusing on areas like your legs, arms and neck can also do wonders for your blood circulation. So take some time to relax and rejuvenate and your circulation will thank you. To wrap up, let's quickly revisit our five ways to improve blood flow. First, we have regular exercise, a tried and true method to get your blood pumping. Second, we talked about staying hydrated, 
an often overlooked yet crucial factor. Third, we discussed maintaining a healthy diet full of nutrients. Fourth, we urged you to limit alcohol and completely avoid tobacco. Finally, we explored the benefits of regular massages. By incorporating these tips into your daily routine, you can significantly improve your blood circulation, leading to a healthier and happier life. Thanks for watching and remember, keep that blood flowing.